Greetings everybody, Barry from HCW Machine Repair. Today we are going to do one of the most requested videos we have. We are going to disassemble the top half of a Bridgeport Step Fully J-Head. This one, as you can see, is not in very good shape at all, so this will be a, a good test for the video. Um, and any background noise, I apologize. We're very busy in the shop today. We've got a lot of machines running, so hopefully it won't be too loud. Okay, so let's start. First thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the motor. Now this one, general, normally there would be a handle here. This handle's broke off, so we will be doing this using pliers and a wrench. Take the, the nut and the washer, and you can see this was a handle there, but it just completely broke off. Then you will do the same thing on the other side. Now, is this one they someone took the washer off once upon a time? Okay, at this point, you're going to slide your motor forward so you can take the belt off. So take the belt off of the front, drop, let drop down. What you want to do is try to get the belt down below the motor completely. That way it's not going to be in your way. Okay, now this motor weighs 35, 40 pounds. As you can see there's pulley on the bottom of it. But it's all just one piece. You can just take it off and set it aside. Okay, the next step is going to be removing the cam ring pins. Now, normally, there should be set screws here and here. This particular unit does not have the set screws in it. And what they have in this one, you're gonna see two sides, two types of cam ring pins. This has got this style that have the, um, the uh, cap screws. There's also the style that just has a flat head. All right, these are gonna, these are coming out, but there's occasionally, when they're completely stripped out, what you would need to do is take a screwdriver head and kind of work it down in here. As you're turning, try to get a little lip push on it to get it out. This one actually came out okay. Do the same thing on the other side. Again, there should be um, set screws here that should have had to been removed first, but in this case, they weren't there. You also notice that the cam ring pin is missing the handle. This machine, they never shifted out of high. Matter of fact, they have no brake, so they are actually using their gear where everything's locked up as their brake. Okay, at this point right now, we have six socket head cap screws underneath. Here, we're going to remove. Okay, we have these out. Now something that'll help you would be to remove the, sorry. Something that'll help you is up here on your top flange of your timing belt pulley. They're, it's held on by four. Um, they're usually Phillips head screws. Sometimes they're socket head screws. If they come out, it's gonna help you. Biggest thing about these four screws is they're very small. So do not lose them. All right, this one had one Phillips and three flat heads. So. And the reason this has helped is because it'll help making getting your timing belt off a lot easier. So take your flange out, and now we're ready to remove the housing with your front pulley assembly. Sometimes you need to get in there with a the screwdriver, work it free, 
because it's got a couple pins in it. Okay, this one came out okay. Now you notice there, there are four of these springs. Keep track of them. They will fall out if it comes like this. Sometimes this comes out with it. It just depends. But keep track of these springs. Four of them, they go in these four holes in the top of the housing. And this one has got very worn brake shoes. So, by the way, once you have this off, set it aside. You can now work on getting, this is where you need the, you notice there's a flange top and bottom of this. So, you can kind of work your belt up. Like you're turning it. Okay. Clearly needs new bearings. Next step, you can take your timing belt, drive belt off, you'll be throwing those away. Just on a quick observation, you see how the teeth of the spindle pulley hub, these are worn way, way, way down. This machine will definitely need new spline gear hub put on it. But our next step we're going to do is we're going to re remove the uh, timing belt pulley. This is a 15 16 nut. Okay, so we're going 15 16 nut. Get off. Take two pry bars right underneath the edge of this. Timing belt pulley off. We are now to the cover over the top of the bull gears. Five straight um, slotted head screws. Okay, now we have these loose. Now this oil cup here would be to, if you're gonna oil your bull gears, when I get done, I normally put grease in here so that you won't be oiling it anymore. But you notice this has got a couple pins in it. So when you're pulling this off, you gotta be somewhat careful. You obviously don't wanna break it. It's got pins and these back bearings sometimes are really a catch. So you see how the, the small bull gear is actually coming up with the housing, which is very common in these. So what you do is take that and then get a soft hammer off camera we're gonna knock this out I use the trusty cook sometimes they don't knock out easily so sometimes we press them out but okay so this is the shaft for the small bull gear small bull gears in here you can see now how this thing goes up and down on a pin so we will be knocking this pin out next all right, tap it. We're gonna actually tap this pin down through the housing. Okay, I've got it down to the point where I can remove this. Okay. Now, one thing you're gonna notice when you go back together, see how the brass piece and the flange is down. A lot of times people do this backwards. They do it like this. It's not, it goes down like that on there. Not to my pin the rest of the way out. Obviously when it comes out, keep track of it. Okay, our next step, we're going to remove the big bull gear housing, large bull gear housing. Most J heads, they are three quarter inch bolts. And this one has been painted many, many times. You can see as the paint peels off. Okay. 
Now there is a washer under here, but it's been painted so many times, it's just not gonna come off until I get way down in that thing. So. Okay, this is actually ready to lift off. I do wanna show you one thing. The bottom bearing in here stayed in here. Now, I'm gonna show you the easiest way because I have a, a puller that I built to do this. Most people don't have the puller. So you can drill two small holes and knock this out after you get, get it all apart. And I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. So, usually this pops right off. So because of the multiple layers of paint. All right. The reason we hit a top here is because of the, this has got so much wear on the top of the spindle that it's, it's been rolled over. So I'm gonna get my file real quick. We're gonna file this off. All I'm doing is filing into the grooves just enough to try to be able to get this off without too much beating on it. All right, let's try this again. Nope. Still not going to come off. So we are going to use the quill to help us a little bit. Okay, so now that we're this isn't coming down, what we're going to do is we're actually going to lower the quill some and try to use the quill as our to help us if possible. So you can see I've got the studs coming right there. It's pushing through there. Okay, there we go. We've got the this assembly off. Now, if you flip it over, you notice it's got three T bolts. Take those out, and now we are to the point now where we have this quill housing down. And it's got a lot of work I need to do to it, but I've already got a video of the quill housing. But and the quill housing on a step pulley head, the quill housing on a variable speed head, come apart the exact same way. So let's go up to the front. We're going to disassemble this real quick. This is the big bull gear housing. Okay, yeah. now, if you notice, I have this in a vise with cap copper jaws. And now this doesn't turn because it's actually captured in here. You don't want to go super tight, but you got to get tight enough to be able to remove the, uh, the lock, lock nut. So loosen your lock washer. This one, somebody decided to attempt to do it two places. Just because they didn't really tighten it. This thing should be a lot tighter than it is. So, just so you know that. And we'll do that when I demonstrate, do a video of the pre-assembling this thing. Take the lock washer off. Lock nut off, I apologies. Lock washer off. But you notice on a uh, J head, it's got the tab on it. At this point, we will take this loose and we're going to press the spline gear hub out. <clears throat> press your spline gear hub out. Keep track of your key. Sometimes this key falls out. This one stayed in. Once we have that out, I'm going to notice a large snap ring right here on the bottom. That has to come out because these bearings push out through the bottom. So let me get our snap ring pliers. Now for the person who's the person who's only doing this one time, this is a pain because this is a pretty big snap ring and it's internal. So most people don't want to go buy a pair of snap ring pliers. Snap ring out. Now turn this thing back over. 
you notice your big bull gear just comes out because it's just sitting there at that point. Push our bearings out. And there's two bearings in here. These were probably the original bearings. Um, the new ones we put in will be shielded. At this point, you have your housing here. We need to remove the little bearing here. Now I'm just gonna tell you how to do it real quick. What I do is I drill two small holes, one about here, one here, where you basically wanna hit the, I, hit the um, OD or the bearing area of the bearing. And then I just take a small punch and I punch it on each side and I remove that bearing. These two holes will not hurt anything because the new bearing that goes in will be shielded, so it'll be covered anyway. So, but basically that is all there is to it. I have now disassembled the Bridgeport Step Pulley top half head. I will be doing more videos on reassembling certain parts of this head. So stay tuned, but as always, thank you for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.